So what should we be thinking about this whole coronavirus thing and what is your church doing about it? Let's dive in. Hey church, it's a Thursday morning as I'm recording this and I wanted to give you an update on uh, all things coronavirus and what your church and uh, me as your pastor are doing to uh, to keep you safe and well informed. Before we even do though, I want to share with you a passage of scripture out of 2 Timothy uh, chapter 1 verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. The reason I wanted to read that to you is I think it's important that we as a church make sure that as we move forward uh, with all the information that's coming at us from every single angle, uh, that we remember that as followers of Christ, we have not been given a spirit of fear. We have, though, uh, been given a spirit of power and of love and self-discipline. So we recognize there are some things that we can do to help. Again, not from an angle of fear, uh, but an angle of, of wisdom and just stewardship of the information that we have. So let me share with you uh, something that we've put together. You can go to arundelcc.org slash coronavirus. And if you go to that link, which we actually have in the notes uh, below uh, of this video, you can see a page that we've created that we're going to commit to keeping up to date. And it has a list of the changes and the things that we're tweaking at Arundel Christian Church to keep you safe. Again, we love you. Uh, we love you so much that we don't want you coming and distracted with, with fear and worry. We want you to be able to come and worship freely as you're hanging out with us. So we're taking these simple steps to allow our, our church family to be able to accomplish that goal of worshiping our God together. Now listen, I recognize that some of you, uh, maybe it's just a, a demographic that you're in, a high-risk demographic, or for whatever reason, uh, you just don't feel safe. Maybe you're not feeling well. If you're not feeling well, by all means, please do not come to Orlando Christian Church. Uh, for, for all of you, listen, you can join us online. We have this incredible technology at 10 o'clock on Facebook. You can watch the entire service live. Now listen, our, our vision, our mission, right, our, our vision statement at Arundel Christian Church is to see people transformed and released by the love of Jesus. And we think that's so important, and we want you to be a part of it, uh, and that has to continue to happen even if you aren't here physically on a Sunday morning. So I want to invite you to, don't forget to be generous towards your church. You can do that online at arundelcc.org slash give. It's actually a really great time to uh, set up automatic giving. Church, my heart goes out to you. I want to ask you, with all the information that's coming in from every single angle, uh, let's not be, uh, let's not give in to the fear uh, that that is kind of at our door, that that's wanting its way into our our thought patterns. Uh, listen, I understand uh, why we we shouldn't take it, uh, we shouldn't be, be laissez-faire about it and pretend nothing's going on, and we also shouldn't be uh, pretending that we've already died. There's somewhere in the middle that is appropriate, that, that we belong in. Um, I think understanding right now the reason why we take these precautions and the reason why we're avoiding uh, physical contact and the reason we're doing these things is simply to slow down the process so that when people are sick, uh, we don't uh, spread that too quickly and overwhelm our hospitals so that our hospitals can do what they do best. And uh, that's kind of where my heart's at, if, you, if you're interested. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we love you. Uh, can't wait to worship with you this Sunday, uh, whether it's in person here or online on Facebook. Church, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for diving in with me.